the design and construction sector is advancing and there are so many new ways to transform your next project. Designers and project managers continue to leverage technology to make construction management and site operations more efficient and sustainable. Innovations around the sector are progressing rapidly and the industry has now a tremendous amount of resources to advance construction technology. What's up guys? Welcome back to our channel. This is Masora Visual. We come back again with another video about best practices workflow. Our channel, as you may know, is dedicated to maximizing work efficiency and productivity as far as design workflows are concerned. In today's video, we'll be covering an interesting topic about handling construction data in Archicad Bluebeam and BeamX. Without further ado, let's get started. In this video, you learn how to use Arcade Bluebeam connection and BeamX as a way of handling construction data. I will introduce you guys to Bluebeam first, and one may ask, what is Bluebeam? Uh, we'll be focusing on Bluebeam and Arcade connection. Bluebeam as a connection is a Bluebeam connection is a PDF-based collaboration and markup solution. Uh, this add-on provides an easy connection between Arcade. Uh, from version 21 and later so what the blue bluebeam is a smart intuitive solution uh, for architecture engineering basically the AES industry because it's a, a way of managing and collaborating projects dig digitally uh, so this is a recommended workflow guys uh, i'll introduce you guys on how to import bluebeam markups into archicad as well as uh, sending PDFs to Bluebeam. Like I said, it's a, uh, it's a PDF based collaboration solution. It is trusted by over uh, 1.9 million builders in more than 130 countries, which is uh, people that have tapped into the solution. Hence, I'm teaching you guys this. And yes, first things first, you have to download the Bluebeam connection. This is where you download it, uh, the website. Graphsoft add-ons and then Bluebeam. Like I said, I'll demonstrate the Arcad uh, connection. You install it, and then after you install it, where do you find it? Uh, yes. After installing it, uh, like I said, this project running a project via Arcad and Bluebeam integration will save uh, significant time and cost with design review. Uh, cost estimations and project management all taking place faster uh, digitally like this amid COVID uh, phases now we are phased to uh, be on the internet cloud and you know we work remotely now because of this uh, pandemic that was upon us but anyway uh, a Bluebeam connection platform uh, palette you go to open the palette using this command file interoperability uh, bluebeam connection there you see it bluebeam then that's where you, where you bring the palette there that's how you bring the palette and then the bluebeam contains this palette contains three commands used to bleed this the bluebeam connection palette contains three commands used in the bluebeam connection workflow the, the three commands only use this commands to save archive views in PDF format and to import PDF markups to Archicad. That's basically how. Uh, yes, I'll learn, I'll show you guys how to. Uh, that's basically the key learnings of this the tutorial. You learn how to export PDFs to uh, to VMAP. Like you have to save your PDFs in the organizer, and then you learn how to create markups within Bluebeam, and then you learn how to import Bluebeam markups into Archicad. That's just the stages that I'll be covering and learn how to publish p p uh, the PDF sets like just the organizer and then publishing your PDFs. I just for demonstrations, I just uh, I run through the publication phase. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're familiar with the organizer, yes. And then assessing the Bluebeam connection and then the, dash the Bluebeam dashboard and then Bluebeam pens and highlighters. 
I just introduced you guys to a few things, a few tools in Bluebeam. So let, yeah, let's say we have published now. Uh, you publish your PDF and then uh, you're sending this PDF for, for construction, like we are saying it's handling construction documentation data. So you are collaborating with contractors, your engineers, right? You send your PDF into Bluebeam. Uh, let's say, um, and then you repeat the process as well after you you you, you receive your markups. That's just the basic collaborative platform digitally, you know. So in Bluebeam, uh, this is the dashboard. This is interface. Uh, you can open your files. You can drag your a PDF, the PDF that you are sending. Uh, you can do your markups, you could do your comments, reviews, you could put stems, you could do anything. It is used by 99% of contractors. This is for contractors and uh, design belt firms. So this is that I advocate this workflow for design firms. So if you're all your design belt firm. Um, Bluebeam keeps the team on the same page through the design process, helps the, you move the project from during the construction and preserves important data through through completion and beyond. So it keeps projects track from start to finish. And so that's just basically it. Uh, you go to markups. This are you know you could view your layers, your arcade layers from Archicad and Bluebeam. This is really really impressive, guys. You like your your PDFs now you are. You have access to layers, you have access to anything. You can turn on layers, you can turn off layers, and so on. You can clean up your PDFs, you can make up your PDFs, you, you can do a lot of things in, in this uh, Bluebeam solution. It empowers construction teams with smart digital tools that get the job done faster, uh, project and after project. You know, you build better with Bluebeam. You know, let's, let's say you're uh, you mark up your issues, complete this detail, complete this detail. Uh, is this plan approved? Do you approve on this detail? Do you approve on, you know, you can just mark up your things. You can, you know, include, advise your architects to, br to bring forth more details, dimension this, areas. You can play around with markups, a lot of markups, a mark lot of pens here. And then stamps as well. Do you approve or do you review? For further review and so on. Uh, this is just a quick brief, a, a quick demonstration uh, of this solution, of this Bluebeam. It's a very impressive solution, guys. Um, you can set them if you are done in Bluebeam. If you are, you are a contractor, for instance, um, we are sending this to a contractor, so he has done his um, issues, his 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 comments, his reviews, then he says back to Archicad. How do you save back to Archicad? Uh, you just click, click, click save and then import issues in Archicad. Archicad palette again, this is how you import. Once the PDF has been marked up in Bluebeam, follow the steps in Archicad to import the issues. You know, from Bluebeam connection palette, click import issues and then uh, appearing issues dialog box file tab you want pdfs right and then browse it you bring it click ok and then issue import the issue import options you click ok ok and then we want you want attributes nothing we don't want to change anything you want the, the markups the way they are just click, run through ok with everything and then the bloom markups will appear in the right place as the original source views in Archicad. And then you can manage using markup tools and palette. You can repeat the process, but now you could go to where uh, the, engine, the contractor was saying, go do the issues. You can resolve the issues and then send back again. You can repeat the process as needed. You know, you complete the details, you, you can complete um, whatever the engineer, the contractor was saying you should do. You should label the windows, you should label the doors, Whatever the people, the collaborators asking you, you could, because the markups are there now in Archicad, uh, you can then re-import again PDFs from, you know, that's just basically it. Uh, this was a basic introduction to Bluebeam. Uh, it was just running through. Uh, it's very interesting software. 
many more tutorials will be coming as we have introduced it into our flow. Uh, you should too and stay tuned uh, for more tutorials of Bluebeam because it can do wonders besides just markups, can do estimations as well. I think the next tutorial about Bluebeam will do estimations and so on. Our next construction data handling platform is BMX. Uh, we've done quite a lot of videos about BMX in the past. Uh, BMX is a powerful tool to engage with uh, clients, contractors, and people you collaborate with, more especially inside. It, uh, you present anywhere with BMX. It is the best way uh, to present the tool. It's, a, it's the best presentation tool. It's the best presentation tool. Uh, it's a simple game like navigation and uh, it's, it's best, you know, it, it's more especially in construction because you could go with these models to site. You can explore, engage, and mobilize because you could uh, as well uh, send this to, to phones, to, to your platforms, to your mobiles. And I'll show you guys how to uh, ex export the BMX navigator, uh, BMX models, hyper models. I think I've quite, we've made quite a lot of videos about that, but to recap, just go to Navigator, look for, uh, go to Organizer, and then this, you know, BMX model. And then the model, the BMX helps uh, explore, engage, and mobilize, like I said, design presentations and collaborations. It takes 2D and 3D models online, anywhere to revenue, anywhere to revolutionize the presentation experience, the site experience, the construction site experiences. Uh, you could uh, measure, uh, you could uh, real-time model cut-throughs, in-context measurements, like I said, project markups, accessible in mobile, mobile devices and iPads and, and so on. But here I'm just using a desktop BMX, like if they're all uh, project managers could use the BMX desktop. It's, it's a game-like experience, like I said, you share your design with all your project stakeholders and there's no need of training, it's just a drive right in, they just dive right in, it's just that. And uh, the, the BMX mod, Hyper models contains uh, hyperlinks to complete to the complete 2D project documentation and so on, project information, specifications, and information such as fire ratings or manufacturer specification properties like metadata from Archicad. you know so we need to model all that's basically beam building information modeling building information movement building information management beam is just an acronym for that and this platform that i've, I've been sharing uh, bmx and and the blue beam uh are heading to a paperless you know a future so you need to tap in <laughs> a digital model like i said uh, means no paper on the building site or at client meetings and they shouldn't be that all relevant model data is at your fingertips for easy access and sharing and that's how you say goodbye to paper that's basically that's how these innovation solutions uh, are saying goodbye to paper we save paper by using this detailed documentation, BMX and Bluebeam. <laughs> and yeah, that's basically it, guys. Uh, I didn't want to uh, draw much into BMX because I'll, I'll leave a link to the BMX tutorials. I think we have four or five videos of BMX. But here I was just, you know, navigating through BMX real quick how we handle construction data and sites and construction meetings and so on. Um, if you enjoyed this video, guys, uh, this model is available on download in the link in the below. I'll leave the link below to download for you guys to download, to practice on your accurate skills. Uh, thank you for the amazing feedbacks as always. If you like this video, please subscribe. If you haven't already, uh, share, share the video, comment below and I'll see you in the next video. Stay creative. Bye for now.